What's good, YouTube? It's Mirabo Squiddy back in another video. So, am I the only one that thinks it's crazy we're getting high rarity reprints of existing high rarities in the same rarity? Okay, but before we talk about that, let's talk about the TCG being in a state of shock today after Konami announced the 25th anniversary rarity collection. So for those of you guys that don't really understand this, this is basically a reprint set comprising of 79 of the most powerful staples in modern day competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! that it's gonna be in a pack, five cards per pack for $5 each, which is pretty crazy because a lot of these cards are very expensive and hard to find. There's so much in demand in the metagame that they're just always high priced. So this is a great, great product that should have came out years ago, honestly, for this game. But we're glad that they're finally doing this. This is a lot akin to like Dual Devastator where they pretty much had like a reprint of all the staples. It's gonna be a great set to stock up on because these staples are eventually gonna go up in price when people realize that these are gonna be worth a lot of money. Even like the Dual Devastator cards, remember the hand traps went up to like five, six bucks, even though the entire pack was like 30 or 40 bucks, right? And they were like pennies at the time of release. But let's just take a look at this. It's really, really cool. This is a copy of an existing set in the Japanese OCG game. And from what we've seen in the description, the fact that it has 79 cards as well, their set had 80 cards, the last card being Maxi, which is banned in the TCG. So it explains why they removed it. But these cards are all the same that were already in the OCG. So Ash Blossom, Joy, Spring, Nibiru, Effect Veiler, Imperm. Baron the Blur, Boral of Savage Dragon, Egyptian God Slime, Pot of Prosperity, Tactics, Droplet. It's really, really insane. We actually are getting some new rarities as well. So Prismatic style collector's rares and Ultimate style collector rares that were slightly different in the OCG already. So they look a little bit like this. They have a lot of texture on them, which is really neat that we're getting them. So we're getting some alternate variations of existing cards. And then on top of that, this is like the full list, apparently, based on the OCG. We're getting a lot of good reprints here. Ice Dragon's Prison, uh, Tactics, just obscure cards. Even Spellbook of Judgment is a little hard to find. We're getting like Vision Hero Ferris, getting Raw Spear Mode. All of these are a couple of bucks each, so I'm so glad that they're reprinting them, especially Pot of Prosperity. These are still like $40 and $50. You're getting a lot of extra deck reprints as well, valuable ones that are harder and harder to find and trick it up in price. Borderload Savage and Baron de Fleur are some of my favorites. I'm so glad that they're finally reprinting those because we needed them to be reprinted in an accessible format. The current reprints are just not accessible enough for the average player to get, and they're still worth like quite a bit of money, especially when they're staple one-ups. So that is a really cool list. You guys can kind of see here some of the cards that we're going to get. Now here comes my issue with the set, with what they're doing in the Rarity Collection, as well as the upcoming Brothers of Legend, where they're reprinting existing cards, for example, the Starlights, in Starlights. Like they're re reprinting them in Quora Century Rare, which is the exact same as Starlights. So that kind of bugs me because as you all know, like you guys spend a lot of money on these cards. Getting a Starlight, that feels like a card that should be the max rarity. It already kind of bugged me enough that I previously had Ultimate Rares, which were supposed to be the max rarity. For example, Effect Veiler, which got reprinted in Starlight and DD Crow the same way. So it's like, oh, okay, I already have my ultis and they're not max rarity anymore. No one really wants them. So like, I mean, obviously the price is gonna hang, so I don't mind about that, but it was more for my peace of mind, having the high rarity card. But the thing that bugs me more is the fact that they're reprinting these starlights in the exact same starlight. So this is what I mean. Like with the alties, if they're reprinting in the same in the same format, it doesn't really matter. For example, you have a previous, this is the old Vanity's Fiend, the OG ulti. So you kind of see how the cards were a little different. It has a little bit of texture. The borders aren't shiny either. It's got that old style cardboard, which looks really, really nice. And then there was also a reprint of the same rare, the ultimate rare Vanity's Fiend in the OP01, which used a new ultimate rare foiling with the edges and the new card stock, which I actually prefer the old card stock. So I didn't have a problem with that. I liked how I had my old max rarities that had a distinguishable difference, but now they're reprinting things like Zeus. So here is a Starlight Rare Zeus from the original Phantom Rage, okay? This is a Starlight Rare Zeus in all its glory. And this is the reprint. It's bad lighting, obviously, because the set hasn't dropped, Brothers of Legend, but look at this. This looks exactly the same as the Starlight Zeus, except it has some kind of 25th anniversary branding, I believe, that's in the text box in the background. It's really hard to see in this photo. From what I understand, that's the only distinguishable difference. This really bugs me because there's no discernible difference. It really sucks for people that already own AAA Zeus Sky Thunder in the Starlight Rarity because their price, I don't think the price will necessarily tank as much, but they might tank a bit because now you have the same card. And then on top of that, 
Like there's gonna be a lot more on the market because these this set's gonna be printed very vastly. And the fact that they would reprint and double the stock of existing Starlights, it's just such a bad look because it feels bad for existing collectors who already have the rarity. So in my opinion, they should have just reprinted it in a different rarity, a lot like how they're doing here with the collector's rare Nibiru, which is fine, I guess. We have the ultimate rare, so this kind of looks similar but the ultimate rare still has a discernible difference so players can pick and choose and kind of see what they want and what they consider as max rarity with their liking but with this it's the same thing and this is like an ugly reprint that no one's gonna want they're probably gonna want the og starlight so it just gives like that feel bad moment because like a lot of collectors are gonna be dropping they're gonna be losing money on the original zeus's and now they're not gonna be exclusive anymore this is like a very rare card that's hard for a lot of collectors a lot of players to find and the fact that they're reprinting it also in ip mascarena and some other cards just makes it feel really bad um there are actually a couple of rares that they're probably gonna reprint even just looking at uh the existing set in the Battles of Legend and the upcoming set in the 25th anniversary. So like what we have so far, we're getting a Starlight reprint of Zeus. We're getting a Starlight reprint of IP Mascarena, which is crazy. A Starlight reprint of Lady Labyrinth, which these cards already exist in Starlight. And then potentially with the 25th anniversary, with the cards that will be spoiled, is an effect mailer that's gonna be Starlight, which is already existing. Uh, that's definitely gonna tank its value. It's sitting at a hot $700 right now. That's definitely gonna hurt that. As a collector, you should be very scared. Um, Triple Tactics Talent, this is also a very expensive Starlight. That might be Starlight Rare reprinted again. And then Pot of Prosperity, that could be reprinted in Starlight again. And then on top of all of that, they're reprinting Baron with a higher rarity. It just got released as a CR and that was the max rarity. But now they're reprinting another rarity of an already existing high rarity. So which is the higher rarity? This is really hard for players now. I feel like there's an influx of rarities in the marketplace that it's just hard to juggle everything as a collector. And it's also hard to determine what you want as the highest rarity, which kind of bugs me because let's say, for example, People at the beginning for the Adventure Engine, they got the Water Enchantress in the original CRs. And then the ulti came out. So it's like, okay, they're trying to trump the rarities here. And now there's a quarter century Starlight Rare of Water Enchantress. So this is the highest rarity? So there's no reason for you to pick up rarities now because you never know when Konami is just gonna trump that, create a higher, rarer version, and then your value of your existing higher rarity just goes down. Like the people that got CR Baron are now kind of in a jam because this is no longer the highest rarity anymore. The quarter century Starlight Rare is gonna be the higher rarity of Baron because it looks nicer and it's probably harder to get so it's kind of like it creates that void you know for me i just hate it when they create new rarities of higher rarities if you're going to reprint something sure reprint it as a lower rarity and then let the og high rarities be that high rarity or at least the first maximum rarity printing for example cr barone let that be the highest rarity and don't reprint it in a higher rarity that's just my thoughts so yeah i just kind of wanted to rant about that it's just like for me, it feels like there's so many products. It's kind of like what they did in another card game, Magic the Gathering, where they're releasing so many high rarity things, so many different artworks, so many different styles. That's kind of overwhelming the players. And it's also kind of a slap to the face for the existing collectors because they're kind of like stuck with their previously high rarity card that's no longer the high rarity. So that's kind of my rant on that. I'm curious to see what you guys think about this. Uh, if you're a collector, how do you feel about these cards being reprinted as a Starlight Rare when they're already Starlight Rare? Or rather, if you guys are uh, players, how do you feel about having more access to the Starlight Rares? Does that make you a little more uh, happy that you're gonna be able to get these cards? I mean, at the end, I'm just happy. It's a valuable trade-off if they're printing a reprint set, and this is what it took to reprint a reprint set of 79 of the strongest staples in the game and make them a couple of dollars each, then I'll take it. I have no complaints there. But this is more of a rant from my perspective of a collector slash player uh, being a little annoyed that they're reprinting our rarities in the same rarity with no variants. But that's all I think. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts, definitely let us know below in the comments. Other than that, let's see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.